Hui, Kakina. Hello, everyone. Well, I'm seeing additional costs. Makwa and Dodan, Shabbat Abajwan First Nation, Ndijaba. Uh, I just introduced my, myself, uh, my name, my clan, and my nation in Algonquin. Uh, my English name is Larry McDermott, and it's a pleasure to be with you today. Uh, I want to talk uh, about the wonderful theme that you have, res respecting Mother Earth. And I want to talk about a historic arrangement early in the days of uh, what we now know uh, as Canada. In fact, I go back to 1764 and uh, what's considered the most important treaty uh, that brought indigenous nations, 24 of them, and the British crown also re representing the French and developed a relationship to share the land. At uh, some years later, at the end of the War of 1812, um, the Treaty of Ghent was established. And at the Treaty of Ghent, Article 9 referred to the relationship with indigenous peoples and honoring all treaties up to that point. The Crown uh, convened uh, all but one of those original First Nations and created a wampum belt. The Crown knew how to do those things, how to engage in ceremony, new indigenous languages at, as the foundational steps of the relationship that we now know as Canada. At that time, uh, this wampum belt was, uh, was issued by the Crown it's referred to as the Pledge of the Crown Belt, again, affirming those uh, previous treaties. The, uh, the agent representing the Crown was William Close, the grandson of uh, Sir William Johnson, who represented the Crown in 1764. And this wampum belt, um, this wampum belt with the zigzaggy lines running parallel represented the challenges ahead. Uh, for the relationship, but as he, uh, as William Klaus uh, mentioned that first law, uh, that first gift, grandfather, grandmother teaching, uh, love, which, uh, um, and then there are six more to go with it. And he said, it will be our love and affection that will get us through the difficult times ahead. The affirmation uh, that this belt represented came from that Treaty of Niagara in 1764. And at that time, uh, the 24 First Nations that participated, over uh, 2,000 representatives, some who took three months just to get there, three months to return, and a month of uh, treaty negotiations. Top of the list for Indigenous peoples were concerns about over-harvest of trees and fish. And so, Respecting Mother Earth from an Indigenous perspective was paramount. And Indigenous peoples uh, in the arrangement uh, said that they would guide that relationship to the land, the relationship, uh, a relationship in natural law, where we are no more important than any other species, and we have a responsibility to respect celebrate that relationship and to care for the land and water. I would suggest that that's where we need to get back to, that contemporary application. In other words, um, applying these principles in 2021 is even more important than ever. Miigwech.